Make any opening remarks, feel free. Um, I thought that uh, we showed why we're here today. Um, Sawyer pitched really well. Our offense really settled in uh, starting in the first inning, kept our approach uh, that we've had all season. And I think we just uh, you know, had a better representation of what our team is today than we did yesterday. Questions, guys? Um, Sawyer, um, pretty good game today. Um, you have one of the better offensive teams in the nation. What were you doing to keep them off balance? For me, it was, um, I think what definitely motivated me uh, was just the desire to play more baseball. Uh, I've had a lot of fun this season, and uh, it was definitely a desire to uh, want to give my team an opportunity to play more baseball games. Um, and so I just rely on what Coach Gus is calling. Um, and so a lot of credit's due to him for calling a great game. Um, Matt, talk about the, um, his performance on the mound. Um, Sawyer has electric stuff, and when he's on, uh, there aren't too many better in the country, uh, in my opinion. Um, you know, Coach Kosofsky's done a fantastic job with our pitching staff, like Sawyer said, and uh, the game plan um, is awesome, but you have to execute it. And today, uh, the game plan was great, and the execution was great, and uh, that's how we got to win. Coach, I assume you guys saw Texas Lutheran beat them last night uh, with a pitcher who's like a completely different style than Sawyer. Did you think that having him fit, uh, coming after that, after that performance last night, would help too? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, offense tends to. Uh, either roll or <laughs> stop. So um, it's tough when you, you have a guy like they faced last night, um, and then you have to come right back out the next day and try to kickstart the offense. So uh, I think what was big for us is we got a zero in the first inning, and then we come out and put three runs on the board. You know, it's natural for a team to then get a little bit tight. And um, you know, I, I don't know if they were, but I just know that we continue to execute our plan. And Sawyer pitched really well, and, uh, and that helped us win. Um, Jackson, talk about your um, outing, your triple side shy of the cycle. Uh, talk about your approach to play. Um, well, I think I was really just trying to see uh, good pitches to hit early in the count. Um, and echo what Sawyer said here, I really didn't want to go home. Um, so, you know, just trying to make something happen. I had guys on base in front of me all day. Um, and just got a couple barrels on balls, got a ball that dropped in there at the end. I guess good things just happened. In particular, about talk about your home run. Um, well, I got a uh, kind of a hanging slider uh, first pitch there, and uh, you know it was really big that uh, Beaker hit that double right before me. I feel like uh, he's a little off balance there. Um, you know, just put a barrel on it, and air's pretty thin out here. I guess it got out pretty quick, so that was that was nice. And you seem to have grouping your hits. Are you just feeding off each other? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and not even necessarily just uh, me and him, just the entire lineup, I feel like, really feed off each other really well. Um, it's been that way all year. Uh, it's a great group of guys. And uh, I feel like, like you said, our approach has been really consistent all year. So I feel good about that. I'm sorry, you're in the dugout. You're seeing the team score a lot of runs. Um, what's, what's, what's the feeling in the dugout? And what are you thinking? I love it. I um, Whenever I'm not pitching, I love being the uh, biggest cheerleader. And so uh, whenever I pitch, I'm always a little bummed because I want to be in the zone. So I'm not always um, standing up and hooting and hollering. But um, it was really nice to see to get run support because a two-run shot in the ninth inning uh, isn't a big deal because we're already up by six or something, six or seven. Um, so it was really nice to have that from, uh, from our offense. And Coach, one last question. The, um... You finally got that win. Uh, how does that feel to um, have a win in the World Series? Um, it's unbelievable for Swarthmore College and our alums, and um, you know everybody associated with Swarthmore. Uh, you know we have not been a, a baseball powerhouse uh, for really ever, and um, it's really exciting that these student athletes from the number three rated liberal arts school in the country, um, you know, amazing, amazing academic students that put so much time in, in the classroom and um, have also devoted so much time to being good baseball players and, and playing as a team. So it's really amazing that these guys are true student athletes and um, are able to come to the World Series and get a win. Sawyer, you were kind of maybe running out of gas a little bit at the end. How important was it for you to be able to 
finish that game and keep the bullpen out of the game? I, uh, I really wanted to. I told Coach Gus um, that he better keep me in the game, well, which I knew he would, but at the same time, I just wanted to solidify uh, his, assur- his ass- assurance in that decision. Um, and so I definitely wanted to, but I understood if I got in trouble, like when I get that two-run shot and then I think a double right after, uh, he had every right to put a reliever in. Uh, but I was really glad I got to finish the game for my team. Can I also ask about that play you made at the plate? Yes, of course. It was um, it, it was really exciting. Um, I was watching this and once. Uh, there was a pass ball. I was just eyeing him and uh, was really hoping he would go because I knew the ball wasn't that far away from the plate. And so as soon as I saw he went, um, I just ran home and then Kenji threw it to my backside. I came back, tagged him, and he slid right into my glove, which was convenient. Um, and then it was good that Coach Gus came out for a mound visit uh, because I was pretty hyped up after that. So it was good to uh, get calmed down. And one thing about Sawyer, he's probably, if not our best athlete, one of our best athletes on the team. Um, he came in as a dual position player and decided to focus on pitching. But he is like a left-handed infielder, I mean, outfielder. I mean, he's just, he's really, really athletic. And um, so he feels his position as well as anybody. And uh, saw an example of that today. Jackson, we saw the chairs. What's happening with that? Um, I'm sure the pitching staff can talk to it a little better than I can, but my understanding of the chairs is, um, you know, when, we say, when we're about to strike somebody out, we say give them a chair. Um, and we also don't have great seating sometimes in our Centennial Conference Park, so we often have to bring our own chairs. Um, so the chair has been working for us all year. Um, we decided we had to bring them out to Appleton. Anything you want to add? All right, now I first the chairs. It was something that we were, um, we we're making sure we had everything for the trip. And then someone said, wait, what about the chairs? And we were thinking about, you know, how on earth do you, I guess we just tie them all together. And so uh, we ended up doing that, and put them in a clear plastic bag. Um, and seeing them come off the conveyor belt um, brought, brought some joy to the uh, pitching staff. 